Oh, nothing beats this. This time of year is my favorite. The salmon are starting to come in. People are trying to get them and just look at that. People just everywhere after it. And uh, I'm here to do the same. It's a beautiful day. These are the last few probably sunny days of September. So let's try to make uh, good use of it. Hey, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh, this one's gonna come. I seriously never thought that I would be making this video. Uh, so, first of all, I don't want to sound dramatic, but while fishing in southern British Columbia during the salmon season, so uh, the fall salmon season, so that's September to about mid-November, I've been doing this for the past four years and i've had you know like you know incidences happen you know um you know people being aggressive and wanting to fight and um last year during the winter uh, steelhead season i had uh, my car um, catalytic converter uh, stolen uh, which costs, you know, over a thousand dollars to uh, get back. But today, some happened that I never thought would happen. So today was the first day that I'm coming out for the fall season. This is, uh, you know, September 18th, and I, you know, fished all day. It was a pretty hard day. A lot of people got into fish and I actually had a pretty decent day. I got into an adult, you know, big uh, Chinook, um, got into two jacks and I even got into a wild coho. I released the wild coho, of course, because it's, you know, you can't keep those. And I released one of the uh, the jack Chinook because I didn't, I didn't really want to keep it. So at the end of the day, I had one adult Chinook and one jack uh, Chinook. Uh, on the bank I got them pretty early so now it's about to be seven o'clock so pretty much all day they've been sitting from where I was fishing maybe like 20 to 30 yards down river it's a pretty crowded day and the spot that I was fishing you know it would be hard to put the fish where I was so I you know left the fish 20 30 yards down river and mind you, actually, just a few months ago, not even a few months ago, just like maybe a month ago during um, the summer red spring season, um, someone uh, took my fishing net. So this happened a month ago. But today, I, this, is an, this is a first because I don't even understand how anyone could do this. But I, first, my I didn't want to believe it because, you know, OK, let me tell you what happened. So I pretty much had uh, like one of my fishing mentors come uh, to fish with me today and we fished for, you know, a few hours and he had a fish on as we were going down river. I showed him my fish. I had two fish, like I said, the adult and the jack. And he was like, they were beautiful, beautiful fish, still chrome. He's like, oh, those are awesome fish. He fought the fish, lost the fish. 45 minutes after he, I showed him the fish, I was pretty much done heading home. Went to grab the fish. And the fish we saw 30 to 30. 30 to 40 minutes ago are no longer there and some of you might be saying hey like it could have like the knot that you had could have you know been undone and the fish drifted down river but do you think i could just uh leave the fish over here yeah no worries yeah.
30, the, the fish has been sitting in the same spot all day. We had seen both fish 30 to 45 minutes ago, and now both fish are gone. And a part of me is like, I don't know. I don't know if I could be sad because honestly, like, it's awesome to fish. And the fish that I actually caught, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't keeping for myself. I was gonna be giving that to my parents, my mom, dad, and my sisters. So it wasn't like, oh, this is a fish that I would be eating for myself, but still I can't believe that someone stole my fish. Like it's actually like when I'm saying it out loud, it sounds ridiculous, but yeah, pretty much someone stole my fish. Um, honestly, if they, someone was willing to steal fish, they might have needed it more than I did. Because honestly, it's, you know, I did pretty good during the summer. So I have a bunch of, you know, red springs in the fridge. So I'm not hurting for salmon right now. But I, I just can't believe it. <laughs> like someone, like if we were playing like, I don't know, fishing bingo. And if one of the boxes was had your fish stolen I don't know if anybody would ever get that one and but I have it so it's it's I, I'm I'm speechless right now uh, I'm about to go home I literally I don't know if I recorded I wasn't really recording that well today but hopefully some of those fish there's footage that I could show you but yeah someone stole my fish <laughs> so um, if uh, and I don't even I didn't take any pictures of the fish which kind of sucks yeah but yeah if any of you have had this happen before honestly comment down below if anybody has had anything stolen on the river comment down below you know we can't cry about it let's laugh about it right <laughs> but yeah I had my fish stolen today so